everybody, welcome back. Today I am doing a brand specific look, um, at least for the eyes. And the brand that I chose to use and the palette that I chose to use is Tarte. And this is the Ulta exclusive holiday palette. I forget the name and I don't have the box and it doesn't say on the back. Um, so if you would like to see how I got this look, Then go ahead and keep watching. Start by priming our eyes with the Tarte Eye Primer. This is um, the Smooth Operator. And it's a little bit of a dry eye primer, so we're going to put a little bit more on there than usual. And today we are going to be using um, the Tarte uh, Tartist palette. This is the holiday palette that is exclusive to Ulta. And we're going to start out with a big fluffy brush and going into, and I'm sorry for the mirror, it's one of these big clunky things. We are going into canvas right here. And we're going to put this all over the eye, up to the brow. And then taking another big fluffy brush, we are going to go into this emerald, or not emerald, amethysty jewel tone color. Um, what is this? Be an original, right there. And we're going to take this all over the lower lid and up above the crease of it. going to take a angled fluffy brush or just another big fluffy brush and we're going to go into two different colors we're going to dip back and forth we're going to go into Roy G Biv and Beret and we're just going to dip back and forth back and forth back and forth pick up a bit of each color and we're going to go above the crease just to kind of blend out that line and warm things up a little. And now taking a flat brush, we're going to dampen it. Um, I'm using Max Fix Plus. You can just use water or um, whatever kind of spray you want. We want to make sure that the brush is damp but not soaking wet. And with this, we are going to go into Gilded Gallery, which is right there. And when you're using a damp brush, you want to designate a part of the shadow that um, will be used for damp brushes because once the shadow gets wet, it's going to change its consistency just a little bit, and you're not, go you're not going to get the same payoff dry as you will um, damp. So for me, it is the top corner, the, the top left corner. Just whatever you're going to remember. And we're going to pat this all over the lower lid, staying below the crease. Taking a angled fluffy brush, um, just something soft and fluffy and small, we're going to go into Make the Gradient right here. And we're going to just take this into the outer V and flick it up into the crease a little bit. Taking another flat brush, we are going to go into reflection right here. And we're just going to pick up a little bit of that and we're going to go right into the inner corner. OK, 
Okay. So now taking a wipe, we're going to clean up a little bit. Okay, so our upper lids are done. I'm going to go do the rest of my face and we'll be right back to finish the eyes. Okay, so the rest of my face is done, even my lips. I will have um, all the products that I used for prep and doing my face down in the description bar. So now it's time to finish the eyes. And we're going to take a smudger brush and we're going to go back into that amethyst color Be An Original. And we're going to take this uh, about three quarters of the way underneath the eye. And taking that same smudger brush, we're going to go back into Make the Gradient. And we're going to take this just on the outer one third of the under eye. And now using a small angled brush, we're going to go back into um, Gilded Gallery and we're going to take this on the inner one half of the under eye. And just to brighten that back up a little bit using that same angled brush that we've just cleaned off, we're going to go back into Reflection and do that just in the inner corner. So we are done with shadow, and now I'm going to take the Tarte Tartist Clay Paint Liner. This is in black, and I'm going to attempt to use the brush that came with it, this angled um, thin liner brush, but these angled brushes annoy me, so I might end up switching to my silicone liner brush, but I will try and use the Tarte brush. Let's see how it goes. Time to curl. For mascara, we will be using the Tarte Tartist Mascara in black. I think right now this only comes in black, um, but it's been a couple of weeks since I've been to Ulta, so, or, and even longer since I've been to a Sephora. So, you know, what the hell does that look? <laughs> mascara! <laughs> 